What up? Welcome back. If you're not familiar with who I am, I am Stephen the Visualizer. I am a spiritual leader, an energy healer, and a content creator specializing in giving you priceless wisdom and knowledge from my journey that has followed a spiritual awakening five months ago. So this video, um, title was in the thumbnail, is going to be about the secrets that I've picked up for how to successfully get results from prayer and manifestation. If you haven't watched my previous video, it's titled something different. It's a really short one, it's like eight minutes. I recommend that you check that out before you look through this because um, the baseline for this to work is covered in my previous video where you have to be willing and open to accept that there is a higher power than you. You can call him God or the creator or whatever you wanna call him. Not religious in any way, um, but you're gonna have to um, be open to that and the fact that this God, I'm going to call him God for now because that's what resonates with me, um, can make miracles happen and can make the impossible possible. So that is, you have to be cool with that or else just click off and come back whenever you're ready. Um, so um, let me talk about my understanding of prayer and how I'm going to explain it. So I don't look at it the same way that most traditionally do techniques and secrets I'm going to share. And again, this is um, this is going to be a series of videos because it's too much information to put into one. But I look at prayer as a hybrid of traditional prayer, also manifestation. There's a lot of topics and a lot of people that know a lot about that on um, YouTube and the internet. Um, and also just another way to look at how you can successfully pursue your goals and dreams. So that's kind of like the perspective that I'm coming from when I explain the secrets that I'm going to kind of let out the bag here. Um, so I have uncommon wisdom of a lot of things since my spiritual awakening and I have a true knowing of things. But a lot of the information that I'm going to present to you has been gathered from a lot of different perspectives. So I have been uh, on a journey of self-discovery where I've isolated from most of my family and friends for the past five months and have done a real deep dive on myself, how things work, the universe, all things spiritual, Christianity, all these different world religions, and I've come out the other end with a pretty good understanding of what's going on around me now. Um, and again, just want to stress, this is not religious in any way. So whatever you believe, I believe this, the things that I'm going to talk about in this video series are going to help you if you are open to it. So I have several spiritual mentors. Um, I'm pretty tapped in with the divine. I've read dozens of books, watched hundreds of videos, taken a bunch of classes and traveled to meet with a bunch of different gurus and life coaches and spiritual guides in the past five months. Um, so I'm bringing everything that I learned and most importantly, my life experience. I have seen crazy success putting these things into action. I've passed them along to close friends and they have had crazy success. So I believe this will work for anybody. Um, you just don't have to trust me. So one thing caveat up front is that I am not the world's foremost expert on this topic. Um, I may be one day, but not today. Um, so I learn new things every day. This content at some point is going to be outdated. There, are, I'm going to find out improvements to how I think about and realize these things. And when that happens, I will certainly try to update the video or create some new content explaining kind of what I've found out that can improve on this. But just know this is not the perfect, you know, secret sauce for everything. It's just what I have used to get massive success already. So I feel comfortable enough sharing what I know because I know that it can make a big difference in your life if you decide to be open-minded to what I'm going to tell you. So let's talk about prayer in general. The traditional idea of prayer is a person, a human being, prays for what help they need or if they have dreams or goals that they want realized they pray to whoever that they believe in they believe that you know that prayer goes up and is received by whoever they believe in and that that entity is the one that actually makes it happen and then you sit down as a human being on earth and you just wait and hope and you know that this will come true I can tell you for a fact that's not actually how it works. Not at all. 
Um, so you have to get out of that mindset that um, someone else is responsible for carrying out um, the completion of your prayers or manifestations. And you also have to get out of the habit of thinking that once you shoot that off by however means, that all we are doing is waiting for something to happen. It's so much more than that, but it's also easy. Um, so in order to understand better why that's not true, you have to have an understanding of where God resides. So when I talk about God, I resonate most with the Christianity idea of God, with the God of the Bible and everything, but it's not, not fully necessary to believe really much of that. All you need to know is that God is an all-powerful being. He created the entire universe. He's so powerful that he can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, and he is everywhere at once. So he does live in what you can call heaven. He has a throne. He oversees everything. But at the same time, because he's a God of infinite power and possibilities, he also lives in each one of us. He lives in our heart. So we have a piece of God in us when we're born. You don't have to be a member of any religion or do anything to have this. It's just part of you that you don't know that we can't see because it's in a different dimension and layer beyond our human conception. So God is within us. When you are born, God also has provided you an immense power in your heart and in your mind that when they are combined and you do things in a certain way, that you are the one that can generate miracles for yourself in your reality. Um, so we are the ones that are actually saying the prayer and we are the ones that are actually making the prayer come true. And we'll talk about this in a lot more depth um, in future videos because this is just going to be kind of an overview. So I call this the creation engine. Um, so we are co-creating what we want or what we need in our reality along with God. So God has given us this God-given power that we have that everybody has at their disposal. They just don't know about it or don't know how to use it properly. Um, and if you put some of these techniques or tips or secrets that I'm going to share with you into play, you can manifest real drastic life changing changes in your life. Um, one thing that's important about prayer is that you do have to say them out loud. There is a power to your voice as well. So anything that you say um, gives off a vibration also um, has to do with a frequency um, that goes out and goes into the universe and the universe accepts that that you're basically putting in a request almost like you're buying something from amazon when you say something it goes into the queue and then the universe decides okay am i going to fulfill this or not and then we'll get into the factors later for how the universe actually decides and how you can get the universe to decide faster um but you have to say them because you have a lot of power in your voice. If you just write down your goals or your dreams or what you want, or you keep it in your mind, there's a very, very slim chance that you're going to get any results from that. So it's kind of obvious for most prayer, manifestation, affirmation stuff, if you heard those terms. But just like to put it out there since we're doing the overview. Um, last thing to know is that um, you do not have to be a good person in order to get this to work. Um, I'm going to give some examples of some pretty crappy people that um, are either intentionally or unintentionally using some of the techniques that I'm going to share to get major results in their lives. Um, so there is a thing, such thing as karma, um, but you, it doesn't matter when it comes to this. Um, if you do have regrets in your life or you are, feel guilty about the way that you've lived, there is one type of prayer that you can say at any time and get immediate um, response and success from, and that is to pray for forgiveness to God or the creator. That's available to you at any time. So if you do feel like you have regrets or you've lived a life that you're not proud of or you've done some things to yourself or other people, at any given time, you can just pray and say, God or creator, please forgive all my sins or please forgive these things that I don't feel great about in my life and it will be done. That's the only type of prayer that doesn't require any kind of technique. That is built into us um, and that's based on from what I understand um, the sacrifice when Jesus was crucified, died on the cross and um, resurrected. That was a, a ability that was passed into us similarly to how we have this co-creation creation engine with us. So 
we have that power. Again, you can be forgiven at any time. You can be forgiven infinite times. So if you mess something up, I ask for forgiveness, you know, every couple days when something goes wrong or whatever. I'm not perfect. <coughs> That's available to you. So um, this is going to be a video series. And the secrets of prayer manifestation um, are determined on what I believe are seven different factors. So I'm going to list them out on the screen. And then I'm not sure how many additional videos I'm going to do. There may be one for each factor or I may consolidate them. But it was going to be too long if I went into all this in one video. So the seven factors I'll break down for you. I'm not going to talk about anything, just the names of them. So in order, they're important, the order of it is. So the seven factors that will determine the success and speed of your prayers and manifestations coming true are, number one, gratitude. Number two, imagination. Number three, surrender. Number four, belief. Number five, follow-up actions. Number six, affirmations. And number seven, self-sabotage. So those are the seven areas that we're going to delve into in future videos. And if you can think about all these different things um, before and after you pray or try to manifest, you're going to have significantly more success. So Hope you uh, come back for the next video. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great day.